Greetings one and all. Today we're going to be making the ultimate comfort food. It's a meat-filled pastry called empanadas chilenas. Let's get to it. The concept of the meat-filled pastry exists in many cultures, from the Cornish pasty to the Venezuelan arepas. Today we're going to make the Chilean empanadas de pino. Now you want to dump the entire kilo into a bowl, sifting it first, like this. Don't be shy. And remember, these proportions have been tried throughout the centuries to be exact and to give you the perfect dough. Sift it. We're going to crack one egg into it. Mix it up just a little bit. You're going to add 130 grams of lard. It's okay, you don't have to mix it as you go. You can just dump it all in and mix it at the end. You're going to add 375 mils of boiling water to it. And then finally add 100 milliliters of whatever good drinking white wine you have lying around. Tablespoon of salt and just start mixing it. This process might take about five minutes. It takes a little work, but it's a labor of love. So now it's got a little body to it. I'm gonna get my hands right in there. So now it's pretty much done. The dough should look and feel something like this. Alright, so now we're going to shape the dough into long strand. Just start portioning out using a knife or a pastry cutter. I guess I use the back part of my knife here. And each one of these you want to roll up into a ball. So you want to get a little bit of flour on the rolling pin. And just start rolling it out. You want to cut a round shape, maybe the size of a hand. Just like so. This is your perfectly round empanada base for the pastry part. As thin as it can go without it falling apart, about one or two millimeters thick. Little squares of parchment paper cut out between each layer so it doesn't stick together. Well, the rolling's done. I have about 26 discs of dough. I'm going to put these in the fridge for no less than three hours. You can keep it overnight and continue working tomorrow. Now for the onions, you're going to want a basic dice. Not too fine, not too thick. We're now going to saute the onions, start with a little bit of olive oil. Now the butter. The heat is going to be at a solid medium, dumping the onions. So we're going to mix it around a little bit first, and you're going to sweat these out for about 30 minutes. These are going to saute down to about half of their volume. They'll be semi-caramelized. So, it's been 30 minutes. The onions have been sautéing. There's little moisture left. Now is when you want to add maybe a couple tablespoons of oregano and maybe a tablespoon of uh, paprika. And then you want to add the beef directly to it. So 
So, this right now, in Spanish, it's called El Pino. And you're going to saute these for another half an hour to go. After about 10 minutes, you can see most of the liquid starting to evaporate. And the flavors starting to coalesce. At this point, I'm going to add about 6 cloves of garlic. The meat filling has been sautéed for about 30 minutes. As you can see, it has a nice stewy consistency. You're going to set this aside for about an hour, wait till it cools, and then build the empanadas. Now for the egg wash, I have one egg and about a teaspoon of heavy cream. I'm going to mix that up. Now we're going to start to build the empanada. We start off by taking a bit of the egg wash and just painting the outside edge of the empanada. A spoonful of filling, quarter of an egg, black olive, three or four raisins, and fold over. And just in three sections, pinching either side and then the middle. Paint the top with the egg wash. Now, if you had a different filling, like chicken or pork, you can easily add a different design to the outside by embossing the edges with a fork. Now the first batch of empanadas ready to go into the oven at a scorching 550, as high as your oven can go. That's about 290 Celsius. Monitor it, make sure it doesn't overcook, but 10 minutes seems to be the average time it takes. All right, it's been exactly 10 minutes. Whoa, very hot. That's what they look like. Now if you don't have a nonstick cookie sheet, simply take butter or any oil Smear whatever pan you have with it. Sprinkle a little bit of flour. Second batch is done. Let's see what happened. Wow. Beautiful. And if you're really lucky, you have some ají chileno, Chilean hot sauce, which is sweet and sour and spicy all at the same time. Mm. Wow. Mm. Is it okay? Mm. All right. All right, mm. moment of truth number two. Mm. Good. Good. Excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Alright, now. Oh, God. I hope you guys enjoyed the making of Chilean empanadas. A very special dish. Tonight I'm going to finish with a McAllen Quest and a La Gloria Cubana Selección Reserva Cigar. Keep cooking until next time.